Okay, my name is Danny Wade, and I've been on the hilltop all my life. Um, and I'm 48, so, um, I'm 49 this year in July. My story would be about uh, in the 88, 89, where it was a it was a big drug problem on me in the area, and. It was really, really bad. So I just want to say that I was the first person on the hilltop to do a drug march mm -hmm. against the drug problem around here. Mm -hmm. And I did that in, it was 89, in 89 or 90, I think it was 90. And I just want to tell that um, it was a lot of work putting it together. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to mounted police and we had um, some people undercover going with us and all of our um, the kids and everything and it was organized because I at the time I worked at the J. Asper Jr. Youth Center and that's mm -hmm. what I did it through I was a group worker there mm -hmm. and we had to do summer programming so we tried to come up with something that was effective for the whole area whole right. neighborhood yeah. And it was a drug march against the, um, let people know that, um, you know, making some noise against the problem. Right. So there was about um, 80 kids, uh, amount of police, about uh, six, seven adults uh, all out there. And we went up and down every street. We went up and down not every street. We went up and down about five streets. The wrong way, <laughs> and uh, one thing went down one street the right way. But uh, our goal was just to uh, get attention and uh, make some. And we did make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So, you think it was uh, what? What? Is, what kind of feedback did you get from the community? The feedback was really, really big because it was the first time, and it, people didn't expect uh, such a dramatic, loud uh, opposition at high noon <laughs> and we did it again the next year mm. so it was a good response we got a good response yeah does it need to be done it still? needs to be done <laughs> again now because it's uh, it's not people say it's worse on the hilltop but it's not as worse as it was it's not what was then was it was really bad because it was sporadic and anybody doing anything uh, to anybody anytime and now it's a group thing mm -hmm. it's the people are being are selling the drugs and doing the shooting among their group of people I see. so uh, people think you can't walk down the street but I go out late at night I see people out and it's a it's become more a personal thing uh, all the shootings and killing it's not drive-bys mm -hmm. Uh, it's not people running out and grabbing somebody. It's people that are familiar with each other, and they are doing this to each other within their group. It's not uh, yeah. like Chicago or East St. Louis. Yeah. So yeah, it needs to be done again, but it needs to focus. The focus needs to be more uh, personal yeah. uh, with the with the people.